Relieving hydrostatic pressure. A sump pumps the best way of relieving hydrostatic pressure on basement walls from groundwater. Our team believes it's best to apply a continuous coating membrane to the water side which withstands the pressure on its surface. What do you when you can no longer apply a coating to the water side? Then use a cementitious coating like Drizoro Maxil Foundation or Drizoro Maxil Flex is required. Both these membranes withstand hydrostatic pressure is applied to the inside. This promotes the cementitious crystalline process which eventually dries your wall. Inside to outside. Relieving hydrostatic pressure by drainboard drainage systems are often a key design component of any below-grade waterproofing job. Here, a dimple drain sheet will direct water to the perforated agri-pipe set in washed gravel at the base of the footing. One critical component of any waterproofing design is removing water that accumulates around the footings and the foundation. Otherwise, the water builds up, and under the pressure of its own weight, will penetrate through any cracks and pores in the concrete walls or up through the floor slab. If there are any flaws in the waterproofing, hydrostatic pressure will ensure that they will leak. The best solution, of course, is to remove the water. Using sump pumps, sheet drains, perforated pipe, and other products that are specifically designed for this purpose, but they must work together to ensure the design system performs as expected. In new construction, some sort of drainage system is required by code, and when properly designed and installed, might last the life of the structure. With existing homes, drainage systems sometimes need remediation and repairs due to clogs, inadequate sizing, or other issues. When talking of relieving hydrostatic pressure, Joseph Botcher of Botcher Inc., a waterproofing company in Long Island, New York, has devoted his 40-year career to keeping homes and buildings dry. He explains hydrostatic pressure using an example of pushing a beach ball into the water and feeling the resistance. Leaking block basement wall cementitious membrane. It is essential to seal the rising damp out. Or else the wall slowly disintegrates. They say in a properly waterproof basement, drainage layers should prevent water from accumulating around the foundation. He says, this is an example of hydrostatic pressure exerted on the ball. Without this phenomenon, the overwhelming force on water is gravity which is forcing it down into the ground where there would be no reason for it to make a right turn into a basement. If the basement is surrounded by water-saturated soil, hydrostatic pressure is created which forces the water into the basement. The trick is to drain the subsoil so the basement isn't sitting in water and the so the water pressure isn't a problem. When you can't reduce water pressure, you can't drain the soil of water to relieve hydrostatic pressure in your saturated soil and your basement is sitting in water then you need to drizoro it. The problem is to relieve hydrostatic pressure this pressure can exert enormous forces. 4 feet of water exerts nearly 300 pounds of pressure per square foot of the wall, and a basement footing with 10 feet of saturated soil above it must withstand 600 pounds per square foot. Don Williams, Vice President of Engineering at Blue Angel Pumps, says, it's physics. It's like taking an empty bucket and forcing it into a swimming pool. If there's a small hole in the bucket, the water will find its way in. It's the same with houses, and the bigger the basement, the more hydrostatic pressure there may be. Water will find cracks in foundations, gaps in expansion joints, it will exploit the porosity in concrete. A waterproofing membrane, under these conditions, is typically inadequate. Under pressure, water will find a way through poorly sealed seams in sheet membranes and areas of inadequate millage in spray applied products. Says Williams, rather than seal a basement against hydrostatic pressure, it's more efficient and more cost effective to relieve that pressure. He continues, the larger the structure, the more difficult it would be to seal it up completely. Rather than fight the pressure, it's almost always better to relieve, control, and manage. The online waterproofing shop team believes that keeping water out of your subgrade walls and slabs is most effective. Concrete structures are porous. Waterproofing waterside is the ideal or best solution. Unfortunately, it is not always possible but installing a sump pump in a basement will create a weak point. Disadvantages of a basement sump pump 1. Install will allow another point for water entry 2. Presence of dampness allows mold to grow 3. Cutting the holes or drainage channels around the basement may expose reinforcement. 4. Chemical erosion causes corrosion of reinforcement creating concrete spalling. 5. Chemical erosion of unprotected concrete weakens it, as water penetrates floors or walls. 
6. Pisical damage caused by water flowing through the cracks or porous surfaces. No, you say. Take note, the Grand Canyon wasn't formed in a day. The idea behind fitting a sump pump is born out of ignorance, the mentality, if you can't stop it, pump it out, is steeped in danger. In the first instance, you need to break into a reinforced concrete slab. The slab has been specifically designed to take the loading. Especially in lift shafts and possibly other areas of the building. This raft slab will not have been designed for someone to come along and cut a hole into it. Which will invariably involve exposing the steel reinforcing or worse cutting through it. Far better to lock out the water from the structure. This is best done from the exterior, water side. However, just relieving hydrostatic pressure by drilling and pumping just creates more problems. Negative or interior side waterproofing is the next best solution. Online waterproofing shop team. Can help. When your membrane fails on the water side and it isn't possible to relieve hydrostatic pressure. Remember to drizoro it.